Chet Larson is a fifth-generation farmer from West Central Minnesota who has gained immense popularity on YouTube by sharing the daily operations of Larson Farms. Larson Farms is a corn and soybean farm that specializes in commercial corn and soybeans. The farm has been in operation for over a century, since its inception in 1918. But it wasn't until Chet Larson began sharing the ins and outs of the farm on YouTube that Larson Farms truly gained popularity. Today, Larson Farms stands as one of the top farming channels in America, with over 402,000 subscribers and 214 million views. With each video gaining thousands of views, Chet has been successful in sharing his experience of the farm. But despite the fame and success of the channel, Chet's life has not been without its share of challenges. One of the most significant challenges he faced was the untimely passing of his wife due to pneumonia. Let's start from the basics. Chet Larson's upbringing on Larson's farm shaped his strong work ethic. At the age of 17, Chet rented his first farm, tackling the challenges of farming from a young age. Later, Chet joined the Larson farm providing his experiences in the development of the farm. Well, to share the experience of the farm and to let people know where the food comes from, Chet Larson started sharing videos in 2019. He began by sharing videos on farming, harvesting, and watering crops, using agricultural machinery. Apart from that, Chet also started sharing videos of repairing and maintaining heavy machinery and other work related to farms, with some exceptions when he goes around making travel vlogs. But amidst the fame and success of Larson Farms, Chet's personal life has been somewhat tragic. As you know, Chet was previously married to Nicole, or Nikki as she was known. The duo were together for several years before tying the knot on January 24, 2015, in Glenwood, Minnesota. Nikki was known for her immense creativity, having started Larson Rustic Home Furnishings in 2016 and later her YouTube channel, Nicole's Untold Gold, in January 2020. As per sources, she even helped Chet in video production. Everything was going well, and both Chet and Nikki were happy with their life. But sadly, Nikki suffered from myeloid sarcoma cancer in November 2020. It was a challenging battle against this disease. Well, they thought they were turning a corner when they found an effective chemo drug that helped cure her disease. However, it also weakened Nikki's immune system, leading to pneumonia, which tragically took her life back in May 2021. Nikki's untimely death left a profound gap in Chet's life, which led him not to make any video for weeks to come on his channel. But as you know the law of life, dead goes away, but life must go on. With this in mind, Chet decided to move on with his past and once again started making videos. Thankfully, Chet found love once again with Jean Marie, a licensed nursing home administrator from Appleton, Minnesota. Like Chet, Jean also comes from a family deeply rooted in farming. Though it's not certain when or how they met each other, Jean and Chet were first seen together when Jean posted a photo on her Instagram in June 2022. Later on, Jean even appeared on Larson Farms' video. And here is the good news. After dating each other for a several months, Chet proposed to Jean Marie in April 2023, and the romantic duo finally tied the knot on December 8, 2023. During the wedding, Chet wore a full black suit, while the bride, Jean, wore a full white wedding dress. They even went on a late honeymoon trip to Mexico. Upon returning home, they resumed their normal lives, engaging in a home remodeling project of a four-level house that Jean purchased in 2022. Well, it is good to see Chet move on with his past and see him happy once again. Now let's talk about the farm itself. Owned and run by the Larson family, it is a fifth-generation corn and soybean farm that specializes in commercial corn and soybeans, as well as seed soybeans and wheat. Their extensive operations cover thousands of acres, yielding significant quantities of corn, soybeans, and finished cattle annually. The current Larson family members include Chet, Doug, Randy, Eric, Jean, Roy, Grandma Larson, and Merlin, Chet's grandpa, who each assist on the farm. Currently, Larsons are involved in repairing and maintaining various machinery of Larson Farms. Recently, they tested out John Deere 830 on their land, and they were pretty satisfied with the performance. And if you're curious about how much money Larson Farms makes, we've already made a detailed video on it. Be sure to check it out after this one. So, what do you think of Chet Larson and Larson Farms in general? Do you have any thoughts or opinions on the topic? Share them in the comments section below and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel.